Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Oh. <laughs> have to be the Scarecrow at Assembly. You're a natural. The little kids love you in that suit. But just one Halloween, I'd like not to itch from all the straw in my pants. Hey, what's going on? Fly over land, fly over sea, fly like the brothers of Tuskegee! Hallelujah! I do believe there's some hope for this child after all. Elijah! Arturo! <laughs> Man, I see that you're the same hip dresser. Well, excuse me, Mr. $600 suit. $600? Oh, no way. <laughs> it was seven and a quarter before alterations, but who's counting? Uh, Tom Simon, Elijah Corwitt went to high school together. Hey, nice to meet you. He's a big-time sports agent now. Would I know any of your clients? Have you heard of Tiger Woods? Yao Ming, Roger Clemens. You represent those guys? Are you kidding? If I had them, I'd be retired on my own island instead of wasting my time with the likes of Arthur Bindleby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check you later. All right, my man, later. So, how's my beautiful Norma? More beautiful than ever. Man, it's so good to see you. What, what are you doing in Boston? Ah, uh, that, my friend, is a long story. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't even have time for a short one. It's our school Halloween assembly. No problem. How about we hook up at the park at 5? And bring your sweats. Why? Will I be sweating? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Norma. Oh, Judy, hi. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I spent a week at 17 Palms. Oh, the health spa, that must have been wonderful. I dropped two and a half pounds, and my cosmetologist said that my goat milk and spinach facials took up at least 20 years. Can't you tell? Why, uh, uh, sure I can. But Judy, you didn't exactly need to. Norma, at our age, we all need to. Well, unless we want to end up like Gloria Hazelbrook. What happened to her? She and her husband were married almost 20 years when he comes home one day and tells her he's leaving her for some 26-year-old. Really? Worst part is, Gloria's blaming herself. She said she should have paid attention to the signs. Like what? Gloria said that it used to be when they came home from work, they'd talk about how their days went. But lately, all he wanted to talk about was his day. Didn't care what she had to say. <laughs> yeah, you know how that goes. Actually, no. And Gloria also said that she should have paid more attention when her favorite jeans didn't fit her anymore. Well, I wasn't going to let that happen to me. That's why you went to 17 Palms? Face it, Norma, we're at the age where our Souths are starting to spread a little east-west, and our Norths are a little south of where they started. <laughs> oh, here's their brochure if you're interested. Oh, thanks, Judy but uh, I don't think so. Huh? Whatever. Well, I have to get going. I've got an appointment with my new personal trainer in an hour, and then after that, I start Pilates. Wow, you are really taking this thing seriously. Hey, this is the age of youth, and I'm going to stay looking young even if it kills me. Well, maybe it's time to get Lilac 531724X, a secret formula developed by a leading dermatologist guaranteed to make you look years younger. Get Lilac 531724X today. You'll notice the difference, and so will he. Afternoon, miss. I mean... Ma'am, can I see your license and registration, please? Of course, officer, but I wasn't speeding. That's right, ma'am. And I know I came to a complete stop at that stop sign. That's right, ma'am. And that was a perfectly legal left turn I made. That's wrong, ma'am. There were signs saying no left turn. There were? There were international signs with a man walking to the left with a big round circle and a cross through him. You missed it. Look at me. Look at me when I speak, ma'am. Look at me. You need to pay attention to this. Look at me. You need to pay attention to the signs. I swear I didn't see any signs. Well, sometimes your eyes can play tricks on you. You need to pay a little more attention. 
especially at your age. Pardon? Come on, it's nothing to be ashamed of. My big sister's got a few miles on the old odometer herself. She had to get glasses to drive and she's never been happier. Sure, she looks a little dingy. <laughs> she looked dingy in kindergarten. Thanks for the advice, officer, but I don't need glasses. Yeah, whatever. I'm just a cop, not an optimist. Need your signatures right here at the bottom? Yes, I said signatures, too, please. Here's your copy. Have a nice day. Uh, thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Guess who? Guess who's in town? Elijah. Elijah Corwin? Yeah. He wants me to meet him at the park in five minutes. Hey, you mind if we invite him to dinner? No, that's fine. So, I ran into Judy Harrington this morning. Elijah looks great. It's kind of mysterious about why he's here, though. But you know Elijah. There's always excitement when he's around. And Judy told me that. Wonder if maybe he's moving back here. Wouldn't that be cool? Why would he meet me in the park to tell me that? You know Gloria Hazelbrook? She's scared. Oh, well. I'll find out soon enough. See ya. My day? Fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, partner, you mind telling me what this is all about? I heard the high school relays are having money trouble. Oh, man, budget cuts are everywhere. Yeah, well, it's important that kids have something like that to compete in. Shoot, when we were seniors, Jefferson just barely beat us, remember? I wish I could forget. That was 26 years ago. <laughs> Don't tell me it still bothers you. Uh, just a little. Well, you'll be happy to know that you're gonna have an opportunity to even the score. I got us a rematch. You're kidding. I do some business with the guy who was the captain of the Jefferson Relay team back then. You know, the guy that ran like a duck. Yeah, we called him Quackers. He owns a software company, and he's used some of my athletes in his video games. We got to talking, blah, 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 and I said I'd match his contribution if he gave us a rematch. But now, when you two had this talk, were there martinis involved? Hey, come on, Arthur. Man, it's for a good cause. I know, Elijah, but... We still need two other guys to run with us. Brother, weren't you listening? I said team. No! Tank! Not J JB? Hey, you, baby, Arthur. what's going on? Look what's up, up brother? <laughs> hey, awesome, hey, JB. Awesome. The gang's all here, right? You guys ready? When was the last time we were all together? About... 30 pounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand it. I run every day. To the Krispy Kreme and back. <laughs> <laughs> well, from the looks of y'all, well, we better get started. The race is Sunday. E, come on. You expect us to be in shape to run a relay race in three days? We'll need a miracle. Hey, good looking. Woo! Where'd you get that? Elijah? Come oh, on, no. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys. You are in the presence of a young lady. A young lady named Monique Turner, who in six weeks will become Mrs. Elijah Corwin. Ooh, you finally found someone to marry your sorry self. My condolences, Miss Turner. Accepted. Now, in addition to being my fiance, Monique also has a master's in physical therapy, and she's agreed to help you lugheads get in shape so you don't hurt anything, except maybe your pride. Elijah's told me all about your relay team. You must be Tank. You ran the first leg, right? That's right. It's money in the bank when you start with the tank. <sighs> yeah, well, it looks like your tank is a little full. Oh! Oh, she did! Did you hear that tank? Oh, man. Let me guess. Second leg, JB, right? You got it. Run fast and free, just like JB. Which leaves the anchor man. Put him to sleep, Bindle B. Uh, that would be me. Okay, let's get started. That tree is 50 yards away. Why don't you start with a nice, easy jog there and back? Oh, okay, no That's problem. Sure. trees. Right. Tree. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Okay, oh. keep them knees up. All right, here we go. <laughs> it takes a while to get started here. Yeah, well, I'm, a little, I'm a little tired here, man. Mm, mm, mm. Baby, we have some work to do. What do you mean, we? Now go on with you. I can do it. Come on, fellas. Wait a minute. Is that tree moving? Meet the cannibal with a heart. Quick, before he eats it. Next on Six Head World. Uh, right.
So, this big, strong guy comes in on crutches, moaning like he's the only person to have ever had arthroscopic knee surgery. <laughs> so, I asked him how he was feeling, and he said, It hurts. What a baby. What do you mean? It did hurt. And that's how we met. Well, well, someone finally chased Elijah Corwin and caught him. Only because I was on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great dinner, Norma. Thanks, Monique. Hope you saved room for dessert. Okay, but just a touch. <laughs> Isn't that Monique something? I, I, I really like her. Yeah? I hadn't noticed. At workouts today, she said that I have the muscle tone of a much younger man. Well, somewhere out there is a younger man who's not too happy about that. She is really something. Did you see how Elijah looks at her? Yes, and I noticed how you look at her, too. Oh, no, come on, Norma. Now, you have to admit, she is pretty. Yes, she is. Thanks so much for dinner. It was a very nice evening. Our pleasure. It was nice meeting you, Monique. Likewise. See you at workouts tomorrow, Arthur. Only two days until Sunday. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, about Sunday. Art, it's gonna be great. Revenge is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Get something to drink. Who's that poor guy who dropped the baton? What poor guy? On the tape. Um, don't know. Well, whoever it was, I'd give him a 10 on that belly flop. Night. About normal? Not fitting into those jeans? So what? It's nature. They're thin as an end. <laughs> Buy yourself a little bigger pair. Oh, yeah, and then a bigger pair. And a bigger pair. You know where that is. With you all alone in a house full of very large fans. You are crazy. Norma knows her husband loves her. This isn't about that. Yeah, poop hair? Then what is this about? It's about... What is this about, dear? Oh, I don't know. Being called ma'am all the time, missing signs, realizing I'm not 18 anymore. You'd like to be 18 again? Why did you say so? Oh my gosh, I look like that. That's right. Kind of dorky if you ask me. Hey, back off, Twinkle Teeth. Hmm, now we're talking. Maybe Arthur would like that. <laughs> That's right, lip gloss queen. What you gonna do about it? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna... <laughs> Isn't this about me? Look, 
I don't want to be 18 again, okay? Oh, what would you like? How about 25? How come everybody here gets to be all fruit fruit up except me? Maybe you'd like 28 better. Arthur! I think it's time! Okay, okay, fine. I don't want to be 18. Or 28. 38, maybe. Okay. Kidding! Just put me back where I belong. Oh, well. Come on, Norma. What does it matter what jeans you wear? Age is what you make of it. That's easy for you to say. How old are you? Oh, that's really not relevant. <laughs> you better tell her I will. Okay. A uh, hundred and twenty-seven. <laughs> okay. A hundred and twenty-nine. Please. But that's in fairy years. Look, Norma, you've got three great children and a husband who thinks you're the most beautiful woman in the world. And just because he doesn't always tell you that, it doesn't make it any less true. Yeah, okay, thanks. Now, ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to put on something a little more comfortable. Nice job. Yeah. But next time, I get to be the good fairy. Perhaps. Get set. Go! Promise me something. Sure, honey, what? Never, ever let me do such a stupid thing again. Arturo! Arty! 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 Man, great seeing you two. Yes, Norma. I'm so glad I finally got to meet you. We'll see you in Hawaii, right? Hawaii? That's where we're getting married. I want you to my wedding party. Oh, wow. man, that's 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 really nice, Elijah. And, and we'd love to be there, but Hawaii? That's, uh... My treat. Aloha! <laughs> Aloha! <laughs> we'll be getting the invitations out next month. We'll be looking for it! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cramp. Cramp. Ow! Ah, what was I thinking? <laughs> I was 18 again? How ridiculous. Yeah. I am gonna go sit in a nice hot bath. If I'm not out by Tuesday, send in the Coast Guard. Okay, and should I have them transport you directly to Hawaii? That would be fine. I'll meet you there. Only if I can find a bathing suit to fit into. Oh, Norma, you could lie on a beach in a trash bag and still look beautiful. Could I give you a big kiss? Sure. My lips are the only part of me that don't hurt. <laughs> Mom? Oh, 
Oh, hey, Angie. Hey, I was wondering if... <gasps> oh my gosh, you found them! What? My jeans! Your jeans? Yeah, these are yours. I must have mixed them up when I did the laundry. You did what? I told you I shouldn't be allowed to do things like laundry. Oh, Angie, you are the best! <sighs> Whatever. But if you think this means I'm ready for the carpet shampoo, forget it. Thank you. 